Hi guys, I'm back with another recipe and today we're making my version of beef tapa. To start off, we have some sliced ribeye steak. Also, we have some garlics over here. I believe more garlic, the better. I have a few tablespoons of brown sugar, some white vinegar, soy sauce, and some black pepper. Okay, so let's get cooking. Okay, I'm gonna start by mincing around 10 to 12 garlic cloves. Sabi ko nga kanina sa inyo, the more garlic, the better. But if you don't want too much garlic, don't add a lot, okay? You have to finely mince your garlic if you want. Or you can do what I'm doing, rough chop lang. Okay, so ito na ating garlic cloves. We'll put it in a big bowl. I'm gonna also add around 3 4 cups to 1 cup of soy sauce. Depende sa dami ng inyong steak. So we'll start with 3 4 cups. Kahit anong brand ng soy sauce, okay? I'm also gonna add around 2 to 3 tablespoons of vinegar. Some brown sugar. I'm gonna start with two tablespoon. Gusto ko lang magkaroon ng balance yung flavor, kaya nilalagyan ko rin ng sugar. Also gonna add some pepper. So I'm gonna mix them well. And remember to taste your soy sauce and your vinegar and your sugar okay so we're gonna taste this it's good but I needed a little more sugar so I boost na to lahat okay mix them well again Nasa sa inyo na guys, kung yung steak ninyo, you wanna retain its original shape na ganito. Pero ako, ang gagawin ko, I'm gonna cut them more into smaller pieces para marami siya. Okay? I'll show it to you later. Okay? So, this is how I cut my sli um, sliced ribeye steak. As I've said, guys, if you want to retain the original size, you can do it as well. Yun lang, ang purpose ko dito is para marami siya. Okay, so ito na yung ating final slice ng meat. Ideally, dapat kailangan minamarin ito for one day. But since I'm pressed for time, I'll just do it for five to six hours. So we'll mix this well, we'll cover it, and then we'll refrigerate for five to six minutes. Okay, so fully mixed na yung ating beef and soy sauce mixture. I'm gonna cover this. And refrigerate for five to six hours. Okay, be back later. Okay guys, so after six hours, we are ready to fry our sliced beef para sa ating tapa. I'm using my cast iron for this to fry my um, tapa. Hindi natin yung overcloud, okay? Because we want it to not steam it. Kasi pagka in-overcrowd natin yung pan, tendency parang may steam lang natin siya. So, we'll fry this. And while I'm doing that, I'm also sauteing my garlic to put on top of my tapa. As well, meron din akong 
sunny side up na egg na pina fry. So this is um like a topsy log. Okay guys, ito na yung final slices ng ating beef tapa. As you can see, nag-uumapaw sa dami yung ating beef tapa. This is also the reason why I wanted to slice it na ganito kaliliit. Kasi it can easily feed around 6 people. For the price of $14 to $15 per pack, it's well worth your money. So, I'm gonna just add yung finray naming garlic on top of our beef tapa. The more garlic, the better. Aside din sa marinade kanina, meron pa tayong finray na garlic. <clears throat> so, here you go, guys. This is my version of beef tapa. I hope you give this a try and let me know what you think. Thank you!